Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited because we are at spring again and spring means bringing indoor plants outdoors, enjoying the outdoor area. I love being outdoors. I love feeling the great weather, feeling, uh, hearing the birds chirp, enjoying every aspect of it. It's so healing for me and I'm sure it is for you too. So if you want to learn how to maybe um, decorate your outdoor space and make it inviting, make it cozy, make you want to be outdoor more, you might find something useful in this video. This was not like this just a month ago. I'll insert some footage of how this looked um, and how we've been transforming it through the years, but in the winters, it definitely doesn't look this great. Um, so let me go ahead and insert some footage of how I did some things to make it look this beautiful and then I'll give you a nice tour all around, show you the furniture, where I got it, little tips and ideas, and talk about the plants. You're interested? Keep on watching. Guys, I just pulled out all these plants roughly out of my laundry room, which is a mess and it's full of <laughs> leaves and everything because this is where I had my plants during um, winter and the shelves and that was the way I could save them because it gets below freezing where I live so it finally we're at April 1st and I'm pulling them out I just pulled out this palm tree by myself trying to pull them out and I just want to show you what how they look because they don't look that great they've been in the laundry room for i want to say mid-october they put it in there so november december january february march <gasps> that's terrible about five months of getting very low light and very low watering it was so hard for me to get in there and water them it was winter they didn't need a lot of water but some of them <sighs> some of them i couldn't get to them and uh did not get they're dried out um so i'm gonna i'm gonna show you a, lo a little bit the process of me making over again my backyard um through the winter i put all the plants that i usually have here in my laundry room usually it's all really pretty and decorated with plants but right now it's a super windy day ah oh, not the best day but at least for today i wanted to pull the plants out so i can water them because some of them like i said were in need of a lot of water so, and I just wanted you to see the before because I'm sure in a few, in a month or two, they're gonna all perk up, well, a lot of them, the ones that can be saved. So, starting right here, I just pulled out this beautiful one and I, eh, I love this one. I love it, I love it, especially because I got it since it was little, maybe two and a half years ago. It was probably like a $5 plant and look how it's grown. She's a fighter, she's um. <laughs> <laughs> she's a philodendron I'm um, hope that that's what I've been calling her I know there's a lot of, of different opinions of what it is but you know this is that's what I think it is and or a philodendron psyllum and these are new leaves right here they're gorgeous I look forward to getting her some kind of pot where she can be since her leaves kind of are big now I want her to be up high somewhere here in my patio see it's the leaves are here all over my patio um, pillows are all disorganized because of the winds crazy winds i need to clean the the cloth material i have to do some good washing um it's something that i know is going to be some work but it's going to be so worth it again it's not a great day to record because it's so windy but um i'm going to give these babies water i think that's what i want to work on today right now dusting off watering them with a hose so we can dust off the the dust and i'm going to trim all the brown leaves and look at this little peperomia. She is super dry, she needs water. All of these are the ones I pulled out. Calatheas like this, you know what? If they made it with two leaves, it, they're gonna be fine. Once they're out here in the warmth of the summer, of heat and the humidity, they, they, they're gonna perk up. You're gonna see, like this one too, it's okay. It's gonna perk up. I've gone through this in other winters. I have another one here that uh see the player plant Sinanthi, this one uh it's incredible how quickly she grows when she's in the right conditions but see the wrong conditions but as long as you have some kind of green it can still be salvaged we're gonna do a nice cleanup here i can't wait oh this is so exciting i love my outdoor patio garden space this one's been a trooper the rick rack cactus has been during the same conditions and there's still a lot of life a lot of green 
What a difference. That one, usually I'm hanging it somewhere. You'll see how pretty it's gonna be at the end. Uh, this is another one, the Flower of the Night Orchid Cactus, something like that. And somebody gave me this one. This one's been a trooper. Uh, this one here is, uh, it's unrecognizable, I know. But this is, uh, what do you call it? Leopard lily something? It, really, it has some leopardy leaves that right now you can't see it because it's so uh, it doesn't didn't have enough light and it's really struggling but look there's a lot of life to it I'm sure it's gonna perk up this palm is a beautiful uh, what is it called spindle palm spindle palm uh, it does not endure freezing conditions so she had to go in there she's still alive I love her I love her with palms there's always some dry ones that you have to cut and prune but I usually put her right there in that middle of that circle by the pool and it makes it look a very tropical look to it. This is the bird of paradise. It's, it was looking for light. There's so much weight. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop right here and I'm gonna clean these up and prune them up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, saving our plants and we're all feeling happy cause spring is here. Yay, although it's a crazy day today. So just brought this baby from the inside, from the living room. It was in a corner somewhere and she's not looking great. You see all the dead. Oh man, I didn't water her very well where I had her and she's gotten infested with mealy bugs while she's been in there. So um, let me give you a little example. You see the little white cluster there? Those are mealy bugs, disgusting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to probably start by spraying her with this diluted um, alcohol. I did right now basically two thirds alcohol, one third water, a little bit more water. Uh, last time I did, I did half and half. I felt like the alcohol was not strong enough. Um, and I'm gonna do it here while she's here in the shade. Um, and immediately it kills. Um, I just wanted to give you a little demonstration. This thing's mixed in, alcohol with water. And where are those little mealy bugs? Right here. You see that right there? So I'm gonna spray and immediately it changes color because they are dead. You see now they're like a brown color. They're not white anymore. When I had, if it's too diluted with water, they won't change color. So like they're not dying. Right here. Okay, we're gonna do it right here. But it's important that there's no direct sun and I wouldn't use 100% alcohol anymore. I used to do that and it can burn some leaves. So that is what I'm gonna be doing. See, it's just at least easy, right? Hey guys, so this is my outdoor space now. We have been working a lot of things, including an outdoor fence. I am so excited. Shed's still gonna be renovated, project to come, but the fence is built. We have not stained it, but the fence is built. And I am so thrilled about this because it adds so much privacy and uh, my husband and I built it. So it's a DIY, do DIY, how <laughs> we say it backwards. Um, one of the things that we are so excited is that privacy and look at those lights. I'll give you a better view of these lights um, after at the end when it's darker. These are from Bright Town and um, I've been testing them out now for months and they've been doing a great job. Um, I think about six months and they are, beautiful um, I'll give you more details when it's nighttime okay <laughs> now you can see better um, and I will put a link to their lights and let's talk about these beautiful lights um, I'm so happy when Bright Town reached out to me to sponsor this video and to give me some samples of these lights so I could try out I'm so happy that I've been able to try them out for now about six months and I've been able to see their endurance I have no complaints about them. They've done a great job. Um, and I just wanted to give you a little bit of a close up. I didn't know too much about outdoor lights when I started in this game. At the beginning, I started, bought some, they were made out of the glass. And now these are made of uh, plastic, which I would recommend to anybody that's trying to buy outdoor lights. I would say the, especially these are gonna be exposed to all the elements. Plastic is great because 
um, if it falls to the floor, if there's a storm and wind and it hits it again, it's not going to break. Isn't that a great idea? <laughs> so the cable is nice and strong and uh, obviously it's water, water resistant. It can be out here and it's done great. Um, if I will put a link in the bottom where you guys can see uh, where they, they sell through Amazon, which is great. You guys can see all their different products all their different reviews, but they have a lot of great lights. They even have like uh, flooring lights that kind of guide your path. Oh man, lights make such a transformation of spaces. I would recommend anybody that's trying to make an outdoor area more inviting to definitely add some lights because it's just gonna make you wanna be out there. It's just gonna catch your eye. It's just gonna do something to your heart. It's gonna make your heart beat faster. So, um, yeah, um, I wanted to go ahead and make this video so you guys can get to know all the different things you guys can do. Hopefully in this video you get some great ideas on how to make your space a lot more inviting and um, hopefully some lights will work out for you too as they have for me. Thank you, Bright, Bright Town. Um, this is a table that my husband and her, his dad built and I put it in my other videos. So I've washed it up and I put some plants up here. Um, we have a peperomia, a crocodile fern. This one's not perking up as good. I think it's getting, it got some shock, but she'll do good. And a leopard lily, this one's definitely doing better. It got the stripings and the colors. I love this table because it fits a lot of guests and I love having guests. Just wanted to give you a little um, view here of this massive, massive tree that gives us some beautiful shade here in the backyard. Okay, so here is a little close up. Um, we have a fig tree and we have this beautiful burl's tail or a sedum that is just brought from the indoor outdoor and it's doing great. It just likes to lose. Um, little leaves the moment you touch it. I don't know if these are called leaves, <laughs> but I've put a lot of the propagations up there so it can um, give me new, new little trailing plants there. This is a jasmine that we've had for years. I don't do anything to it and uh, it's been in this spot through the winter and it just got green by itself and I don't do anything to it. I really, really love it. So I'm going to focus a little bit more um, on details of the decor in this first part um this here is i have this to hang up plants and this one's a recovery plant this is my recovery section i got this from walmart some little racks and it's my recovery section it gets morning light so i know these plants are going to do good and this is a driftwood that we got a few years back and this is one of the decor pieces that I really highly recommend for indoors or outdoors. It's held up wonderfully. Um, it doesn't really get rained on because it does have a little covered area here. Um, and plants do great. This walk, it's morning light. So beautiful little plants, whatever you want to use. Um, I ordered these from Amazon. Uh, they're called a Beat It. Um, what was it called? A Beat It. I don't know for hanging plants. I bought it a few years ago, so I don't remember these macramates. I know I got them from Aldi um, And I love the little wood part here round little wood part I think that looks really really pretty some jute rope and it's just kind of we need to do some pressure washing <laughs> There's still some some spiders, but still gorgeous. Okay, so this is my view as I go into this area this space I love it. I've incorporated from last year, I added another little ring here. I used to have one here. These are from Walmart. And also the pots, the white pots are from Walmart. And look at that, how gorgeous, how gorgeous. And uh, so I added a matching one and I think that looks wonderful. Uh, this is some kind of petunia. So I imagine this one growing quick, quickly and trailing down. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. Okay, so here, um, we have these two chairs and this bench with this table. It came from tar Target. I bought it from Target.com. 
a last year and i showed it in my video of last year and you saw how i had to clean them up so we did take them off their zippers and i washed we washed the bottom part the top part we didn't it's just kind of like the way it was and then you know what i'm not stressing of making it perfect because i realize they're outdoor furniture and it's okay if it's not perfect but it looks a lot better than it did right now it's just a little dusty but it looks a lot better they did wash up pretty good um i think we had to wash them in gentle cycle and um right over here this other furniture piece it's an l sectional I think it's called a conversational set and you can kind of move it how you want it. It came with that table right there and that I've had now for, this is going on my third year and this one was from Amazon and it, the quality, I got the cheapest thing they had basically. So the quality has torn on me already a little bit. So I'm actually going to take this to my mom. She knows how to sew very well and we're going to fix it. But we washed it in the washer and that's what did it so that one didn't held up i would recommend if you're buying one of these furniture pieces that are on the cheaper side definitely maybe hand washing instead of the washer machine okay so just giving you a little tip there um this is what it, this is a fireplace and it's gas and um, where do we buy it academy sports center that's where we bought that. But of course, you can find them everywhere at Amazon. Um, so it's good for chilly nights. But let's talk about um, here, this plant wall. And I have here, it's a patio curtain. And it blocks out sun, but it still allows some sun to come in. So that's really nice for the plants. And I think, what is it? In the morning at some time, I see sun rays coming from the back. But they're not receiving extreme light so therefore i can have a lot of these house plants out here and they do fine um obviously i put some that needed more light over here but the ones that i put these here that they're going to be fine this is going to receive medium light so some here are hoyas some are the pothos but um i think they look gorgeous trailing down and uh okay let's talk about continue on the <laughs> the furniture pieces this is from Amazon and it's like a swing and this one has gotten very stained and I have not washed it yet and it gets rained on all the time but it's on my third year with it but the quality the strength is really good guys this is a wood piece but oh, I will say that I looked for it in Amazon and it's not available anymore but it's basically a macrame um, hanging swing for outdoors and when I looked through all the options that year, I found this one with a wooden piece. So if you guys can find something similar or whatever you're, you like yourself. But a swing is beautiful. It was my dream to have a swing. We have the swing. I get a lot of compliments in the swing. I highly recommend it. I am loving all the sitting space. I Honestly, I take a little nap there. I take a little nap there. I come and read here. Uh, furniture. Let's continue talking about furniture. So this little um, garden box, I bought it at Aldi's last year on clearance. Um, I have saw them already this year. They're there actually this week for $39.99. Um, so it's uh, what I'm doing here is a lot of flowers. This year I'm really doing a lot more flowers. I have seen some seedlings of Senia flowers here coming through. So I'm really excited about these. These are a little Ikea, little plant stands and they are very cheap i'm not sure if i paid i paid under ten dollars for these you know trying to save some money um i probably should i'm pretty i don't know if i got this like at burks or tj maxx it's like a lantern and you can put an actual candle in there but maybe not recommend it because uh, i actually because it can cause a fire i have a solar lantern there so it can turn on at nighttime and it basically looks like this and i got these from amazon and uh they do really really good um the link that i'll give you to uh, where i got the lights that you see here uh on this fence they have a lot of solar lights themselves too so i i recommend you check them out if you don't have somewhere to connect and you want to save electricity so that's my furniture pieces i would say um so now I'm going to give you a little tour on maybe plant names and uh, if you're interested in plants, I think you'll like this next part of the video.
Okay, so here we have the palm that I showed you in the beginning of the video that I cleaned out some of the leaves that were dying. It's called a spindle palm and it does not tolerate, I think I want to say under 50 degrees. So that therefore I do put it in that laundry room. Um, so I'm still going to work on this piece, this round piece. I have to clean it up, you know, little by little projects that you do to that makes it fun. But I did put some flowers already in here. Um, here's the name of the flower. It's a verbena purple and it has some beautiful flowers. Not flowing right now. Um, we have some dianthus from last year. These are perennials that come back. We have some ajugo, ajula, ajuga, ajuga. That's one that's variegated. And then I have the non-variegated one, which is this one. I think it's called chocolate, chocolate chip ajuga. And it gives the most beautiful purple flowers. Right now it's not flowering that much, but it did in spring and I loved it. It comes back every year. And I also planted this year some more Deanthus. These are different, but the flowers are light pink and the flower died off. So it's not lasting as much as that one. Here I planted some Lithoras. They're perennials. It has this beautiful purple flower. I think the other one I saw. Oh, here it is. Here's a purple flower. And I'm excited because they're perennials. So anyways, this is my little garden to plant flowers. Um, and I'm excited about that. I do have some peppers here. I'm working. That's another project that I want is to actually do a uh, raised garden for my peppers. Uh, I have some there. I have some lemon trees here. I have some peppers here. And I'm basically working with, um, I don't want to plant them in the soil because I already tried. We don't have, we have a very sandy soil. It did not work. So it's doing so much better in soil that I bring in. So I have, you know, all these different types of tomatoes, peppers, but I do want to do a nice grace garden box if maybe later, maybe later summer, if not next year. Uh, variegated lemon tree, uh, hydrangea. This is again my project still to become to make it all neater and it, and it will happen. But so far, I'm happy I already have some eggplant. I have some Carolina Reaper peppers, some herbs. Okay, guys, so let's continue here. Let's see, this is uh, some kind of orchid cactus that somebody gave me and um, that one basically died off in winter but they're still green like I said now with the heat in the summer and the humidity it's going to grow a lot I'm sure this is a rickrack cactus this is a dog I would used to think it it was a dog cell cactus but maybe it's a rat tail cactus this is a uh, a dishidia what was the name I forgot dishidia something it starts with a g uh, and a uh, Hoya pubicalyx. It has some splashing. I love how it just flows down. Gorgeous. And let me talk about my biggest, most amazing plant out here that I'm just, oh, I'm in shock. I'm in shock. Look at this big, big Monstera Deliciosa. It, it has grown so much. This is a rescue plant for $5 from Walmart. And um, I had imagined trying to keep her in my kitchen, in my dining room. It was a lot of space, but because we love her, we fought for her. She was there with us. And I was so happy to be able to bring her out outdoors. I had her last year there in that spot. And um, that's where she grew a lot. <clears throat> this year I, I tried putting her there, but she's so top heavy. She was falling down and I knew she could break. So I wanted to put her up against something. So see, she's up against this wall. Um, and I actually did tie her down against the wall, just in case, against the railing. I don't want her to fall. Um, so I think she's going to be very happy there. And she's not in the way, which is awesome because she's so big. But yeah, what's helped her a lot is that she's out here and she gets humidity, she gets heat. Um, all of our house plants normally like to be outdoors, but most of the house plants that we can keep successfully indoors don't want a lot of full sun. Again, this is she gets morning sun. Morning sun is great, but we wouldn't want to put her right in the middle of outdoors where she's going to get many hours of sun throughout the whole day. That'd be too much. Again, you, it's recommended that you gradually bring plants out. Mine here have been in a shaded area. They've been doing fine, except one or two that maybe got too much light, like that cork dog fern. She seems to have some burning. So it's best to um, be careful with too much sun too quickly. 
Swiss cheese monstera. So happy to bring her out because she always suffers a little bit in winter. Um, so I'm so happy to bring her out because I'm sure she's going to grow a lot in bigger and thicker leaves. So, um, yeah. And then here is a horsehead philodendron by Penifolium and also been growing so much. I had her in my bedroom upstairs and I'm so glad to bring him outside. He's such a cutie. Dragon scale location. I need to go get a cute pot. And this one's in recovery from spider mites, of course. No surprise there. And this is uh, Gloriosum. It's my smaller one. It's the Gloriosum Verde. I got this from Equigenera. She has this, you know, these very beautiful suede leaves, dark green, beautiful pillow like. Um, and she is just spread out. So I'm so glad to bring her outside because she's in a shaded area. She's going to love this humidity. She's going to love it. I think I need a different pot, a little longer one. And then I have here some, um, I call it donkey tail, uh, or burrow's tail, um, sedum that have little propagations. You just lay them on top. Little by little, they'll start growing little babies or growing. <laughs> And uh, here I have a lot of rescue plants. If you guys see saw my free plants that I got from Lowe's. This is a Diffenbachia compacta that I got from there. And this is an Anglonema ghost, I believe it's called, frosted ghost. And then I have a chameleon CC. This one I didn't get for free. I got it for half off and I just repotted it here in a bigger pot. So I can't wait to see its growth. And back here is my pitiful, <laughs> bird of paradise pitiful, pitiful because she had such low light for such a long time that all the leaves are falling um so they definitely want more light but um i can't find a good spot for it and but there is new growth so she's gonna get some new leaves there's two new leaves coming so that's good i'm gonna watch her she needs more light but she's just in such an odd shape right now i don't know where to put her um over here we have a skindapsis this is a splash with an exotica She's gorgeous. And here we have a Hoya um, Queen, Crimson Queen. And she does, she is dealing with mealybugs. Hoyas are one of the big things that I see is dealing with mealybugs. This is a princess also dealing with mealybugs. I've treated them both. Uh, I sprayed them with diluted alcohol and put, you, you probably saw an insertion of a video when I was treating her. Um, so hopefully they'll start doing better plus being outdoors is going to help because there's going to be other insects that like to eat mealybugs like ladybugs so that's great so i hope they're going to do better out here and this neon pothos is just absolutely gorgeous philodendron brazil absolutely gorgeous um this is a beautiful snake plant or santeveria black gold something like that i think it was called about her such a long time ago my fiddle leaf tree from aldi's here it is fiddle leaf tree that i got for 12.99 um uh, i think it's gonna be happy here i do need to repot it into this white one and i have here uh monstera and I totally forgot the name you guys told me it's one that i had never seen before at aldi okay guys so i got your name it's a monstera laniata look at these leaves she is gorgeous i had never heard or seen this monstera until i found her at all these but look at the leaves it's not like one you see all the time and i got it for all at all these for 8.99 can't wait for it to trail down um i have a hoya chelsea here in recovery um and let's see here this is a type of goldfish plant and it's called like a, this is a champagne jam goldfish plant. I owe you that name. I wanted to go ahead and let you know and insert it in here. Look at those leaves. So it's, uh, what I love about it is, but it's a goldfish plant, just remember that. <laughs> Look at the backs of the leaves and they're kind of, they remind me like of a, uh, well, I guess that's why it's called a goldfish because it's kind of like a, like a fish. And the backs are just absolutely gorgeous. Reminds me of a whole, yeah, it's not a plant that I ever see much and nobody's showing in videos, but she does flower. So she's a pretty cool one. Um, the Regal Shield Alocasia here. Um, I wish her leaves were bigger. I think she had bigger leaves. Um, hopefully this summer will be good. I actually planted some flower here, some proven winners, super tunia per persimmon, uh, full to part sun. Um, 
And oh, I have a dahlia here. Guys, she was gorgeous two days ago and lost a lot of the leaves. We had a lot of rain, so I think that's what did it. But it's a clay lights lavender pink dahlia. And the she's she needs a lot of light, so I have her here closer to the sun. But imagine her full of flowers. Oh, I'm loving adding flowers to my house plants. I mean that little spark is absolutely gorgeous. And I think I'm gonna I have a palm here. I think it's called a fish tail palm. She's not doing the best, but she's gonna do better. It's okay not to be our best all the time. And this is my beautiful dog called Paris. Paris, say hello. Paris. She's blind. I love her. She's my baby. And then we have here uh, philodendron. Um, what is she called? You guys have given me so many opinions of different names. And now I am confused. But I think it's like a selum. Um, and she got really droopy, guys. She has not perked up as much as like I thought she was going to do. I think she looked a little worse when I brought her out here. And I'm hoping she's going to recoup. And I think she is because she's already starting to give new leaves. And the new leaves, that's a good indication. I'm just seeing that she has a little spider. A little spider, but it's a regular spider, so it's not spider mites. But I have to keep an eye on her. And floppy leaves are not a great indication. But this is my view. There's projects to be done. Like, I need to paint this. I already bought some metal paint that I'm going to paint it. But I wanted to go ahead and publish this video because time was going by and I still have projects to do. But it's already gorgeous so i had to share with you guys um this is our pool and that's where you you hear that water the water's a little murky but that's where you hear the water sound which is so so relaxing to hear the water sound
Okay guys, so hopefully this video in, uh, encourage you guys to do the effort. I know it takes some effort. Uh, sometimes we're not motivated to do, do these cleanups. Um, go get those pieces that we're looking for. Um, but I would recommend it because it makes it so nice to be outdoors, guys. I love being inside and I love having my house spots for the winter, but I love to be out here. Hearing those birds, seeing those squirrels, getting that fresh air is so good for our mental therapy, our mental health. So um, even if you have a small space, these little things can transform your space. So we're talking about getting some kind of furniture piece, some kind of chair that's cozy, comfortable, that you like, that you're gonna wanna sit there. So obviously for me, it's that it has to be comfy and clean. <laughs> Um, another thing that I would recommend also for spaces, even if they're small, is getting some kind of accept rug. And this one is great because it's made out of recycled plastic. I got it at Amazon. It was about $100, but there's a lot cheaper. They're a lot smaller. Um, and yes, it makes a big difference. It makes it all bit look put together and almost like it's that indoors, outdoors. So another recommendation I would give. I would definitely recommend some kind of outdoor lights. It transforms the space. Um, it just is going to make it a lot more inviting. At nighttime, you're going to want to be out here on a nice night. So another recommendation, um, go get you some lights. And again, I will have a link there of the lights that I've been trying out in my fence. And they're from Bright Town. And I also definitely recommend plants what a difference plants make they can be plants that are just green right i have a lot of plants that are just green uh, that are from my, in my indoor house plants that i brought outside so they can grow a lot more so they can even be treated because from pest control um they're going to grow so much more if you want your plants to grow bring them outdoors again just be careful with the sun you don't want to give them a lot of sun too quickly and uh covered area is the best okay um other than that keep you know i you i got a hand blower so i can blow the leaves in this area i got it recently at aldi so uh rechargeable hand blower that's small i think that's a great investment because you can tidy up because you're gonna have to be blowing leaves you know um here and there and stuff like that uh, but yeah it's it's great uh, as you notice this year i don't have too many curtains I just have these two, these I got from Ikea. They were very, very inexpensive, about $5. I used a piece of rope to actually hang them. And in other years, I've showed you how I had a lot more. I haven't bought any this year yet, and I might. So again, my little tip to you would be to just use some rope. And you can tie it from one side to the other, and then just kind of drag your curtain through it. Through it. So that's another thing that really changes up a space. Um, so check those out too outdoor uh, patio curtains that will make a big difference so I hope you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful and it'll encourage you to make a beautiful relaxing space outdoors for yourself thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe you'll keep on learning a lot more how to take care of plants if you, if you subscribe to this channel and I enjoy hearing all your positive comments thank you for everybody that has joined my channel thank you for watching thank you for all your positive vibes and have a wonderful day bye Look at this. It's gorgeous. We're not done with details of the fence, but fence is up, lights are up. Here you can see the difference these two things make privacy and lights. Check out. As it gets dark, you have this place to continue enjoying. you to see the night view with the lights on look at the difference I mean it's dark it's nighttime and uh, I didn't show you this palm it's a windmill palm but yeah the it's just so so lit up so lit up even though it's nighttime because of all this lighting
be chilling out here at 10 p.m. 11, 12. The jasmine right now, I can smell it. Oh. Look at the lights, so pretty, so pretty. One more view of the nighttime view, which is one of my favorite views. You see, nighttime. This tree is incredible. A little relaxing area to enjoy with your friends and family. I hope you enjoyed this video. Good night.